While my husband Finn was out, I went in and checked through his room. And while I was looking through, I found several receipts in his drawer. I checked what the receipts were for and found that they were receipts for women's brand bags. I had never received brand bags as gifts from my husband, and when I searched around his room, I could not really find any women's bags. So, he must have given it to his lover, who he is having an affair with. I can't believe he used our credit card, which we share as a family, for buying his lover gifts. If he is really using our credit card, then doesn't that mean that he's using my money too? I really had no idea that my husband could be such a horrible prick. My name is Abby, and I am a 40 year old office worker. I work at a very well known clothing company. So, thankfully, they pay me pretty well. And because I have been working hard all my life, I am currently working in a high position at my department. I enjoy my job so much. And find it so rewarding that I hope to keep my position at work until my retirement. And even though I am a workaholic and that I am very busy, I actually have a family. I have been married to my husband, Finn, for 10 years now. Our son, Theo, is now 10 years old, and he's the same age as our marriage. All three of us are living happily together as a family, but That doesn't necessarily mean that I don't have any worries about our family. My number one worry that I have is that my husband does not work very much. The first time I met Finn was originally through work. When the brand clothes for the company I work for appeared in a fashion magazine, we often have a model come in to do a photo shoot for the product, and my husband was working as a fashion model at the time. Because Finn was a fashion model, he was quite handsome and had a very bright aura around him. I think he was on a roll at the time because he had various modeling jobs, mainly for fashion magazines. When I talked to him, I found out that we had almost the same tastes in music and TV shows, and we hit it off instantly. Then, We naturally started going out to dinner together, and that was the start of our relationship. After two years of dating, we found out that I was pregnant with our child, and we got married. In other words, we had a shotgun marriage. But we were very close as a couple, and we already had marriage in our minds while dating each other, so the pregnancy was only just what started our marriage. After the birth of our child, Theo, we were happy in our own way, but my husband's modeling work declined dramatically. When he turned 25, and as he was approaching his late 20s, the job offers suddenly began to decrease compared to before. But as I was working for a major brand corporation, we honestly had no trouble making ends meet. I hoped that my husband would find something else he wanted to do. And go on a different path for his career. But it seemed like Finn didn't want to start something new, even though his work kept decreasing and decreasing. And after a few years, he ended up having zero jobs. It's not like he's also doing any housework, and he just completely became an unemployed bum. Well, when I was busy, he would stay at home with Theo, which was helpful. But my husband never tried to work again after that. Even after Theo got in elementary school and no longer needed that much help as before, Finn was still unemployed. It's the same even now, and I have no idea what Finn exactly does, but he just relaxes around at home all the time. I have been getting busier and busier at work. So, it has been difficult for me to have the time to give my husband the proper attention he needs. So, I do think that I am also responsible for making my husband become like that. Which is why I have been trying various strategies to motivate Finn to getting back to working as much as possible. 
Hey, you are now 35 years old, so why don't you try appearing in fashion magazines for people in their 30s and 40s this time? I thought that by saying it this way, it might motivate Finn to try modeling again. But my husband responds like this. Oh, but that's just such a huge hassle. Besides, shooting takes up the whole day. Well, yeah, that's what jobs are, you know. But I don't want to do that. It's not a great working condition, too. Okay, I see. But are you planning not to work forever? Well, that actually sounds great, don't you think? What did he mean by it sounds great? Even though my husband was in that kind of situation, I didn't think about divorcing him at all. Theo is still small, and my husband is basically a very kind father to him. So our son calls him daddy, and Theo loves his father very much. So I didn't think it was right to take Theo's father away from him because of my own reasons. And even though my husband is 35 years old, he is still handsome as he was a model. And although I often see other colleagues at work, I still think that Finn is the most handsome and beautiful looking compared to them. Well, maybe it's because Finn went to kickboxing gyms frequently while I was working, and he has a great shape. If only he would work, then he would be just perfect. One day, as I was thinking that, I saw my husband wearing a suit from the morning. What? What happened, honey? Why are you wearing a suit? Hmm? Oh, I'm only going to a job interview. A job interview? I have a friend who is a model and he might be able to introduce me to an agency. I've been told that they want to interview me, or at least see what kind of person I am. Oh, is that right? Well then, please do your best and good luck, honey. Yeah, thanks. I'm going to go now. I was so happy to find out about that. Finally, Finn got the motivation to begin working. Oh, Theo, maybe Daddy will show up in the magazine again. Oh, wow, really? If Daddy's going to be on the magazine, I'm going to tell all my friends about it. I headed to work that day in a great mood. Then, after I finished my work, I went home early, wanting to know how Finn's interview went. But when I got home, it seemed like my husband had not come home. Oh, Theo, did Daddy come home once? Nope, I don't think so. When I got home, Daddy wasn't here. Oh, okay. In the end, my husband did not come home at night, and it was after 2 a.m. when he returned home. Since the next day was a Saturday, and I had the day off, I stayed up and waited for Finn. My husband looked completely drunk, and not knowing whether he had noticed me or not, he fell right onto the living room couch and fell asleep. I saw that Finn had his phone in his hand. I know that I shouldn't have, but for some reason, I felt a tremendous urge to check his phone. So. Then I pulled out my husband's phone from his hand, gently holding out his thumb to unlock the fingerprint password. And finally, after I unlocked, I looked into his messages. And to my shock, he was having an intimate conversation over text messages with a woman named Ruby. Looking at his WhatsApp, I saw a message from Ruby which said, Dinner today was very delicious and the hotel afterwards was fun too. What the hell is this? I immediately took a photo of it as evidence. And when I looked at the icon of the woman named Ruby, I saw a face in which I had seen before. This woman is... If I remember correctly, Ruby was a model for a fashion magazine until a few years ago. I also had the chance to work with her several times. But, she got married and quit her modeling job. Does that mean that both Finn and Ruby are married, but they're having an affair behind not just my back, but behind Ruby's husband's back as well? I was filled with tremendous anger, but I decided to just wait and see what my husband would say tomorrow. And the next morning, 
I woke up my husband, who was still sleeping on the couch. Hmm? Oh, I must have fallen asleep on the couch. Didn't you have a job interview yesterday? You came home around 2 a.m., you know. Job interview? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I did have the interview, and after that, I met up with an acquaintance at the office, and we went straight out for a drink. We hadn't seen each other in a while, you know, so we decided to catch up, which took some time. As Finn explained, it looked like he was trying to hide something. Who is this acquaintance of yours? Oh, he's just an old model friend. I don't think you've ever worked with him, Abby. Oh, okay then. I see. The fact that he hides the truth about him meeting a woman named Ruby is pretty suspicious. I definitely think that he is having an affair behind my back. And once I find something suspicious, I would always find something even more suspicious, and that was the credit card bill. Until recently, I used to buy clothes and other things for work and hobbies on our credit card, which we shared between Finn and I. But I have been quite busy at work for the past few months and have not had time to do much shopping. So our credit card bill should only have low amount. And yet the bill was higher than the usual amount. As I checked and looked back, it's been like this for the last few months. I've just been too busy with work to check. Oh, it can't be. Then I began to suspect something. I began to suspect that my husband was using our credit card. I did also give my husband the credit card as I was thinking for the family. Basically, he spends about the same amount every month, so I wasn't concerned about it. But it seems that he was spending a lot of money secretly. I am sure that he is spending it on things related to his affair with Ruby. I guess my husband thought he could easily fool me by lying about his previous job interview, so after that, he began going out frequently on weekends, saying things like, I was invited to join my acquaintance from the agency for a night out. So, it looks like he is having an affair without any hesitation. Well, if that's the case, then I'm going to find out all about it while I can. While my husband, Finn, was out, I went in and checked through his room. And while I was looking through, I found several receipts in his drawer. I checked what the receipts were for and found that they were receipts for women's brand bags. I had never received brand bags as gifts from my husband. And when I searched around his room, I could not really find any women's bags. So he must have given it to his lover who he is having an affair with. I can't believe he used our credit card, which we share as a family for buying his lover gifts. If he is really using our credit card, then doesn't that mean that he is using my money too? I really had no idea that my husband could be such a horrible prick. I thought that even though Finn didn't work, he was thinking about me and trying to take care of our family. Then one day, my husband, perhaps who got too comfortable to think that I would never find out about his affair, says something very unexpected. One of my modeling friends invited me to go on a trip for the upcoming three-day weekend. Can I go? Hmm? Oh, really? But what about money? Oh, I'll do it within my budget and savings, so it's not a problem. But if I refuse, it might affect my reputation to receive jobs in the future. Huh? What jobs? Oh, um, so I have a friend who might be able to get me a job. So, if I stay on good terms with him, I might get a good job. Oh, is that so? How could he tell a lie like that with such a straight face? I knew that this trip was for him and his lover Ruby anyways. But I also felt lucky. It's because I finally had a chance to start the revenge on Finn. On the day of his trip, I saw him off along with Theo with a smile on our faces. 
It was probably the last smile I would ever give to Finn. Then, I squatted down and made eye contact with my son, and told him about what I was thinking. Theo, I want to live away from your daddy. I know this is very sudden for you, Theo, and I'm really sorry about it, but I want you to choose who you want to live with from now on. Was I being a little cruel? How could I force a 10-year-old child to make such a choice? But my son answered immediately. I'm going to live with mommy. Really? You won't be able to see your daddy as often compared to before, you know. That's okay, because daddy is giving you a hard time, right? Besides, he's been hanging out with a woman I don't know recently. Excuse me? What do you mean? When I come home from school, sometimes I saw this woman who I've never seen before being there with my daddy. Huh? He brought that woman into our house? Daddy said that she was someone he was working with, but she left as soon as I showed up, so I don't really know who she is. How horrible and selfish can Finn be? I can't believe that was how Finn tried to deceive our son too. Hearing this, I was completely over Finn. At first, I was going to just stop the credit card in time for Finn's trip. But I've changed my plans. I'm going to full-on revenge him. I knew who Ruby's husband was, and I had visited him at his home with a business associate a long time ago. They lived in a pretty nice house, and they probably never moved out yet. Just in case, I checked Ruby's Facebook and found Ruby's husband's profile. Good. They still live in the same house, as far as I can tell from the recent photos which showed their home. I got in touch with my parents and my brothers and explained the situation. They all came immediately and helped me pack up Finn's belongings. I then sent my husband's belongings to the house where Ruby lives, along with a proof of the affair and a letter with a message to Ruby's husband. Then, I suspended my credit card, which I share with Finn, and packed up our stuff and moved out. Theo, now that we've stopped Daddy's card, let's get out of here. Yeah, sure! For now, we decided to go straight to my parents' house and stay there temporarily. It was very relaxing to go back to my parents' house and eat my mother's home-cooked meal for the first time in a while. My brothers also stopped by my parents' house, and we enjoyed a small family reunion for the first time in a while. My father was very happy to see his grandson, Theo. And in the evening, I received a phone call from Finn. Hello? Oh, Abby, I'm sorry. It's urgent, so could you transfer some money to my account? Why? Uh, well, you see, I'm a little short on money. You said you would do it within your budget and savings. Oh, I did, but... Please, I'll pay it back to you later. How are you going to pay me back when you're not even working? Well, you see, sooner or later, it will be decided that I'll get a job with the agency, you know? Please, I beg you. If I'm the only one who has to come home like this, then they wouldn't even think about working with me, you know? Hmm, I see. Then, where's this agency that you talk about? Huh? I mean, you're about to get a job, right? If so, can you at least tell me the name of the agency and the name of the model you're going to work with? Uh, um... Oh? You can't say it? Why not? I... I completely forgot! I mean, what are you going to do with that? I will call that agency and check. N no don don't do that. You embarrass me. I mean, why don't you just stop telling stupid lies already? Huh? You're traveling with a woman, right? Wh what are you talking about? Ruby Green. She's a former model who used to work with you a lot, right? Now she's a married housewife. Then, 
Finn let out a little scream, which I never heard before, and he sounded really upset. Well, that's just crazy talk. Then, who did you give all the brand goods to? You gave them to her with our credit card, didn't you? I... I don't really know what you're talking about. Well, it's okay, because the truth will come out sooner or later. For now, I've suspended the credit card. I don't know if it's the hotel bill or the restaurant bill that you guys can't pay, but you're all on your own. When you get home, just sign the divorce papers. Goodbye. Huh? Huh? D divorce? What the hell are you say- I hang up on him and turned off my phone. Like that, Finn wouldn't be able to reach me today. He better suffer on his trip. A few days later, my husband came to my parents' house with an exhausted look on his face. Oh, Abby. I'm really sorry. So, please forgive me. Saying that, my husband gets down on his knees to beg. I will not forgive you, and I already said that I'm divorcing you. I can't stay married to a person who cheated on me behind my back and betrayed our family. N no way. If it stays like this, I'll be in big trouble. According to Finn, Ruby's husband found out about the affair when I sent Finn's belongings to Ruby's house and came over to Finn's house after the trip. And now, Finn is in trouble because Ruby's husband is demanding alimony from him. Well, it's none of my business now. And of course, I'm going to charge you and Ruby alimony too. Oh, and you have to pay child support too. Oh no. I'm sure you destroyed the divorce papers which I left at home anyway, so I've got some here for you. Huh? Then surrounded by my family, Finn had no choice but to sign the divorce papers as he could not escape any longer. After that, the divorce was successfully finalized. My ex-husband and his lover both had to pay alimony. My ex-husband is now working as a bartender at a bar in order to pay alimony and child support. One of my colleagues went to the bar to check Finn out, and she told me that he had been taunted by his other colleagues who were more than a year younger than him, saying things like, Oh man, hurry up and make this drink. Well, it's what he deserves. On the other hand, I rented an apartment near my office where my son and I now live together happily. My son is handsome, just like Finn. So I will make sure to straighten Theo's personality and so that Theo won't turn out to be like Finn. Finn is what you would call a typical good-for-nothing man. Why are there so many handsome guys who are pricks like Finn in the world? But despite everything that had happened, Abby is good at her job, very diligent, very logical, and very smart. I hope that Abby's son, Theo, inherits her personality. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in our next video.